Hey everyone, we're going to do another analysis video. Well, could be any uh, variety of courses, video, uh, set theory, algebra, and so on. They all do the same sort of thing. The composition of injective functions is injective. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> so we only have a couple things here. We have the definition of injective and the definition of function. Um, I'm assuming you know what a function is, uh, but an injective function, if you have a function f from x to y, it's injective if for every y in the image in f of x, there exists a unique x in x such that f of x equals y. That means for each image of your function, there's a unique preimage. <clears throat> in other words, you can kind of invert it. It's a, it's a relabeling. Corresponds to the horizontal line test. Uh, functions correspond to a vertical line test in like cal in calculus or college algebra. This corresponds to a horizontal line test in those sort of situations. So we'll use this definition to make everything work. So let's get to the nuts and bolts of the proof. Need to set this up, so we're going to let x, y, and z be sets. We're going to set g from x to y f from y to z, and now what we're going to do is we're going to fix a z in the image of the composition. This is in the image of f of g. So you take x, you hit, hit, hit it with g, then you hit it with f. So that's the image of f composed of g. And we're picking an arbitrary element from there. By the injectivity of f, there's a unique point, we'll call it z sub f, just so you understand. This is dependent on z and f. It's just pull, a pullback. And we're going to say that that's y in y, such that f of y equals z. This is done as uh, unique. There's only one way to do this. Again, by the injectivity of g, we have a new y sub g, so it's the pullback of y, which we call x in x, such that g of x equals y. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just link these together. So we're going to say there's an x in x, which is the only member of x, such that z is equal to f of y is equal to f of g of x. Notice uh, z is equal to f of y comes from the first one, and y is equal to g of x comes from the second one. So what we've just shown is z has a unique preimage under the composition function. So we're done. All right, let's take a look at how we want to do this as a full like write-up proof. So we're going to prove the composition of injective functions is injective. <clears throat> we're going to start by setting it up. So let x, y, and z be sets. <clears throat> and g from x to y, f from y to z be injective functions. Select an element in the range of f restricted to the image of g. Say z is in f of g of x. So that's the same thing. We're just saying we're looking at f restricted to g of x. Well, that's the same as taking the image of g of x under f. So we pick a point in there. That's our z. By the injectivity of f, there exists a unique y in y such that f of y equals z. Moreover, by the injectivity of g, there exists a unique x and x such that g of x equals y. Hence, x and x is the only element such that f of g of x equals z for an arbitrary z in the image of g of x. f of g. So, wrong way. <laughs> so, what we've done is we've picked an arbitrary element and we've shown it has a unique preimage, therefore f of g is injective, and we are done. As always, thanks for viewing. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if I made any mistakes, and I'll see you in the next video. Go ahead and check it out.